That's good enough, I guess. Alright, Luke, I got... Am I interrupting something? What's that on the corner there? Is that a butt plug? I got the transit papers. Now why don't you tell me what this is about? We are going to meet a man called Duval Mingo. He's no patriot, but he hates the Nazis, and he commands the loyalty of the rebels south of the River Seine. What's so important that you'd risk bringing together every rebel leader in the city? I won't discuss it here. For now, I can only say that you play a key role in our plans, Sean. I don't like being kept in the dark, Luke. Then come with me. We will go meet this man, Mingo. Then we will discuss what comes next. For a second, I thought he said Mango. South of the CNA. I think I said that right. I think that was also a sentence fragment. Alright, get Where in a we car. Headed? The Latin Quarter. We will rendezvous with Mingo at the Jardin du Plant. Okay. Got like something stuck in my teeth. I've been trying to get out for like the last 10 minutes. Alright. Hop in, Luke. Onwards. Take Hello. them to me. It seems I am not the only one getting into bed with the British Empire. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the lovely Lady Sinclair is one dirty mix, eh? Veronique tells me the two of you are old friends. Veronique has a weakness for a little gossip. I am told English women are cold on the outside, but warm on the inside, no? I thought you were meant to be a classy look. Why don't we take Skylar and Veronique up to La Havre this weekend? Wine tasting. Isn't there still a war on? Only the more reason for some joie de vivre while we still can, huh? I won't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll find out if Santos earned his fee. Maybe this is the case where it does not work. I don't think it's gonna work now. Yeah, oh, okay. Go. Shall we make it a foursome in La Havre? I'm sure Veronique would be delighted to have you and Skyler join us. Don't count on it. Oh, something I should know. Looks like we're almost there. Thank God. Oh, damn it. I was gonna keep the conversation this going. Is the place. Keep your eyes open. Something does not feel right. Meet with Mingo. Okay. Keep walking, your highness. These streets can be dangerous after dark. Are you the one called Mingo? Who is asking? Luc Godin. Ah, the big man himself. <laughs> Come down from the penthouse to do a little slumming. Hmm? This isn't a social call. I have business to discuss. Business requires trust. Trust must be earned. Ah, that sword cuts both ways. It is dangerous to meet in the open like this. You risk too much. What's that? Germans! It's a fucking ambush! Uh, Take cover! I had a feeling this would happen. Jesus Christ. Look, over here. Get back in the fucking car! Get in a car, it doesn't tell me what car. I'm taking this car. I gotta pick up all of them. <laughs> Everybody get in the car. Get us out of here. Hang on. How did the crowds know we'd be here? There might be a leak somewhere. Don't look at me. This meeting was your idea. Show your traps, both of you. We're not out of this mess yet. I have an alarm level 3 by the way. This is going to be fun. You guys are getting like your ass is handed to you back there. You okay? <laughs> Holy shit, am I doing it? I'm doing it! Damn. Looks like we lost him. We need to get out of the open. I told 
told you it was not safe to meet like this. You would jeopardize the entire resistance with your foolish theatrics. Enough! We need a place where we can talk, someplace secure. My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. <laughs> I'm starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in this city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. There's no delay. We have much to discuss. We almost got our asses handed to us. And your blood is all over my back. We're going to the catacombs. This is going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. What is your name, Irishman? Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. Ah, oh, nice. You guys just gonna hang out in there? New, more powerful weapons have been shipped in. I don't know if I actually believe that, though. There's no... Don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and it says I haven't collected this. I'll go ahead and collect it. Yeah, look at all this blood in the back seat. This is gonna be bad. Or not bad, it's uh definitely not sanitary. Nice. New vehicle collected. Uh it's the only mission that we have to do, so I guess I'll hop into the catacombs. Might as well slum it with the dead. Oh, okay. Ah, there's Sean. Let's get started. By now, most of you have seen these posted around the city. Our German overseers have devised a grand spectacle to convince us of their Aryan superiority. A race to be held here in Paris and broadcast to every corner of occupied Europe. Several high-ranking Nazi officials will be in attendance, including General Eckhart. My comrades, this is the moment we have waited for. We will seize this opportunity to strike a blow that will shake the very foundations of the Third Reich. The crowd brass will be heavily guarded. You'll never get close to them. You're right, Sean. We can't get close, but you can. What the fuck are you talking about? After the race, there will be an award ceremony at the base of the Eiffel Tower. During the ceremony, General Eckhart will present the winning driver with an iron cross. That is when we will strike. How are you gonna get past the security? I won't have to, Sean. You are going to win the race. I don't even have a proper car. How am I supposed to win a race? Speak to Vittore. He has some good news to share with you. And Sean, you may be interested to know that the Germans are placing bets on the winning driver. At last count, the odds were five to one in favor of Kurt Dierker. Mmm. This is a little creepy. Mmm. We're not near the end of the game, are we? The hell are you? There's something down there. This place is really tiny. I got weapons, monsieur. Indeed you do. What do you got? Ooh. Oh my god, what? One of my personal favorites, she's quiet as a ghost and quick enough to stop a crowd's heart before you can reach for that whistle. A must for any serious collector. It's got its own ammo. That's kind of... Uh, that's kind of... Uh, it's silenced, though. I like silenced. Ah, fuck it. Got a silenced SMG. Ooh, and it's silver. I don't remember getting this gun. Nothing new in there. Nothing new. Let's see. 500 to increase that capacity? Sure, why not? What else am I going to spend this money on? Oh no, I don't want to. I want to get ammo. There we go. Uh, let's see. Rifle, shotgun, rocket. 
flame war a uh, flamethrower about to say flame and Wolfa. Uh, splash damage. Yeah, I haven't really called for any of these guys yet, so I think I'll be okay. Every day is a lucky day. Complete a silver perk of your choice. What perks do I have to complete? I must admit, this place is a little creepy. Well, yes, yes it is. It's catacombs. Burpees. Unlock the 44 pistol in the shop. Reduce recoil. Uh, what's this? Kill 10 Nazis in 10 seconds with RDX or dynamite. 10 out of 10. 10 seconds left. What? Kill 10 Nazis with RDX or dynamite. No knockdown from explosions. That'll be cool. Unlock the RDX in the shop. Destroy five Nazi vehicles with dynamite in 30 seconds, or 300 seconds. Super RDX. Escape from a level 5 alarm. Haven't done that yet. Every Nazi vehicle free repairs. Garages can store APCs and tanks. I uh, gotta win country race 1. Okay. Unlock the crowd clear throw. Unlock the Aurora Nitrous upgrade. Unlock Aurora machine gun. <laughs> I have to destroy bridges. Planting explosives while disguised is not suspicious. That'd be nice. Hmm. Touch a death perk. Stealth kill five generals. Haven't done that yet. I love that picture. That picture is amazing. This picture of Sean. I love that. Hmm. Country. Crowd clear throw. I have to throw someone else to their death. I got like one more to unlock that. Country race one. I have no idea where that is. My ears started ringing out of nowhere. Like Dr. Dr. Kwong. Dr. Felix Kwong, at your service. I have heard much about you. I hope that we can work together. That depends on what sort of work you have in mind, Mr. Kwong. Dr. Kwong, I am a clinical psychiatrist. Do you know what that means? I don't know. You like to dress up in women's clothes? <laughs> that is very amusing. I'm sure your sense of humor serves you well in situations where you feel threatened or insecure. There's no much threatening about a bloke wearing a dress, Doctor. Never mind. Did you have a proposal to make? Despite what you might think, Mr. Devlin, I am a soldier. My battlefield is the human mind. My objective is to destroy the enemy's will to fight. There's a new field called psychological warfare. There's nothing new about it, Doctor. We Irish have been at it for centuries, on both sides of the pitch. Then, you understand why we must begin by sowing the seeds of fear and mistrust among our enemies. Our tool will be a traitor. In this case, a man who doesn't even know that he is a traitor. You got a crowd to turn coat. How? A combination of experimental drugs and hypnosis. I won't bore you with the details. Suffice to say, this Nazi will carry out my instructions. And what are those instructions? To assassinate a notorious Gestapo commander called Bauer. All you need to do is drive our impressionable German friend to Bauer's headquarters and make sure he completes his assignment. Now I'm playing chauffeur for a Nazi? Must be a chilly day in hell. Good day to you, Doctor. I'll let you know how your little scheme works out. Dr. Kwong's story, the Bavarian candidate. <clears throat> Meet up with the Nazi. So is he his, did he drug this guy? Is that what he did? Probably. Alright, get in a car. Well, I'm gonna get a new car. Maybe a new car, yes? See. I need to throw someone to their death to get that throw. Oops. You're kind of in the way, friend. Oh, he's over here. Pick up the brainwashed Nazi. Alright. So, 
What's it like being a Nazi and all? My name is Corporal Spitz. I have one package for Herr Bauer. Oh. What's in the package? Whiskey, sausages, porno magazine. Christ, that's one hell of a gift basket. Where can I get one? I am Corporal Spitz. I have a package for Herr Bauer. Yeah, I gather that. You just sit tight, Spitzy. Bauer's place is just up the road a bit. <laughs> Dude's literally lost his mind. That's amazing. Porno magazine. Place. You go on ahead. I'll be waiting here when you get back. I don't think he's getting back. Yeah, I don't think he's getting back. I think he's gonna die. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Fuck it out. Kind of figured. scheme just went pear shaped. I'll have to finish off Bauer myself. Really? Why do I gotta do that? Hang on, I got an idea. There you go. That's it. You can't be shooting a man while he's taking a piss. So he did not blow him up. For some reason the the voices were missing. I don't know why. Well that was easy. Yeah, that was very easy, Sean. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, someone getting mad. Damn it, Sean. Sometimes you don't climb when I want you to and it annoys me. Can I make that jump? The answer is no. Here we go. Let's try out this gun. This is cool. Can I make that jump? The answer is no. Well, that's not it. Oh god. <laughs> this will probably work better. I didn't even see how much how much money I got from that. Oh well, job is done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, my car is like all jacked up. Can I get in? There we go. This car is all kinds, all kinds of like, what is that, Raspberry Jam? <laughs> Should probably get rid of this marker before it keeps driving me insane. Excuse me. Guys just hanging out in Chinatown. Well, whatever you did to that crowd, it worked a little too well. Wonker never made it past the front desk. I have not, as of yet, perfected the brainwashing technique. I will have... Brainwashing? I'd rather my brain stay dirty. So what's the next step in this master plan of yours? Unfortunately, my plans must be delayed. The Gestapo has dispatched a pair of notorious assassins to hunt me down. I had a crucial meeting scheduled for today, but... 
Now I will not be able to meet my contact. The danger is too great. Unless... of course... You want me to cover your back? Is that it? There is a sniper's nest overlooking the square where the meeting is to take place. One of my colleagues will be watching the square from another building across the street with binoculars and a radio. If you position yourself in the sniper's nest, he will be able to help you spot any enemy agents in the crowd. I trust that you will kill them before they kill me. You could find worse odds to gamble on, Doctor. I'll do what I can. Guardian Angel. Okay. I don't know how this car is still driving. Get out of here. Mate. I was expecting to actually fall there. Fall, fail. Go to Saint Sulpice. Okay. Oh, climb to the terrace. Sorry. Not bad. Crack this open. Alright, climb to the terrace. How does one do that? Hmm. Okay. Is it over here? Can I climb up here? Hey, yeah, here we go. This works. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. I think there's something at the top of this. Wait, hang on. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. Can I go over there? Yeah, I can go over to the Eiffel Tower. So where's... Where's Notre Dame? 